Hey everyone, long time no see. Um, this is probably the first video that I will be uploading probably in the last few months. Um, but today out here in far western Maryland is the first good herping day. Uh, it's around 60 degrees here in the evening. Um, so I'm out here hiking a trail looking for some amphibians. And you might be able to hear in the background some wood frogs. But just caught the first one of the year. So this is a nice male wood frog, um, and I'll show you a better video here in a second. Here is a better look um, of a wood frog. This is actually a different one than what I was just holding. The last one got away um, as soon as I was trying to take a video of him. But pretty cool. Um, as you can probably hear, there's a whole chorus of them calling over there. Uh, so we're probably going to catch some more. Um, hopefully we find you a female. Females are usually a lot prettier in this area. Oh, uh, look at him go. Alright, well, I'm going to put this guy back in the water and let him do his thing. Here is the third wood frog that I've caught so far. Just another real dark looking male. Um, you can tell all the other ones in the pond shut up since they could uh, see me coming. But I'm gonna let this guy go back into his pond and see if we can catch a female. All right guys, here is a nice big female. Uh, she's not as pretty as uh, some of the females I've seen. Sometimes the females are really orangey um, this one's just a little bit shade lighter than the males that I'm seeing around here. Uh, but when I caught her, she was actually getting harassed by, um, I think it was four different males. But as you can see how baggy her, uh, belly is, she doesn't have any eggs in her, uh, anymore. So she actually is done, uh, laying her eggs. So I'm going to move her away from those males, um, that way she doesn't have to go through any more unnecessary stress um, because the males tend to grab onto the female and not let go. So for her own safety, just gonna move her just slightly away so the males don't cling right back to her um, and we'll see what else we can find. All right, one quick last look of this female wood frog before I let her go. Um, I'm gonna snap a couple photos of her and we're gonna keep on herping. All right, here is the next herp of the night. Um, actually, this guy jumped right past me uh, when I was photographing the uh, wood frog. So I quickly grabbed him. Um, and I actually, I have a second one just sitting down there in the net um, that'll show you next. So two of them actually hopped past me when I was photographing the uh, wood frog. But I'm gonna get a couple of quick photos of this guy and we're gonna keep on herping. All right, so here is the uh, the second spring peeper that I caught. Um, I was trying to grab him out of my net and he just climbed onto this branch, jumped onto this branch. So we are going to just let him be and uh, we're gonna keep on herping. All right, so I'm out in the middle of this vernal pool and just look at how many wood frog eggs there are. It's just all this gelatinous mass here uh, you can see the little black dots that's those are the eggs themselves but i am absolutely just surrounded by egg masses and of course if you listen you can just hear all the male wood frogs calling ah it's so cool all right well i'm gonna keep herping around here a little bit um it's getting it's getting towards dark um, and of course I forgot my headlamp in the car. Um, so I can't be out here after dark cause I just won't be able to see anything. Um, but we'll see if we catch anything more, uh, before I'm done. All right. So this will probably be the last, uh, wood frog I show you unless I catch another big female. Um, don't want this video to get too repetitive with, uh, just wood frog after wood frog. Um, Definitely once we get back to the car, we're going to probably start road cruising, see if we can get any uh, um, like spotted salamanders crossing roads or anything like that. Um, 
So I'll update you guys later um, if we find anything else. All right, guys, we are on the way back to the car. Uh, we made about halfway back and we found this uh, adult redback salamander crossing the trail. Cool, this is, uh, this is actually not the first ones I've seen this year. I actually saw them in uh, early January when we still had some warm weather uh, in the county. But I'm gonna take a few photos of this guy and get him off the trail. All right, guys, here's the next herp of the night. We were uh, driving on our way to the next herp location and this big and much more pretty female wood frog happened to be crossing the road. Uh, that was a crazy sound. Um, so we are um, gonna let her go on the side of the road that she was heading <laughs> and we're gonna keep on herping. All right, guys, here's the next herp of the night. Uh, this is another male wood frog. Uh, this is at a new location. Um, really only seeing wood frogs tonight. Uh, it's not really raining, so I highly doubt that we'll have too much luck with the mole salamanders like the Jeffersons and Spotteds. Um, so I'm gonna get this guy off the road. Um, gonna check one more spot uh, on the way home and I'll update you guys if we see anything cool. All right, guys, this is definitely the best herp of the night. This is a big old male Jefferson salamander that I just found in a vernal pool. And this is the, uh, these guys are actually quite uh, uncommon um, in Western Maryland, uh, especially where I am in Western Maryland, uh, far Western Maryland. There's only a few known uh, sites this far west, um, and this is actually the first time I've seen them at this location, and is only the second time I've actually seen them in this county. Uh, the first being a few years ago when I found some uh, metamorphs crawling out of a vernal pool uh, crossing the road. But this is awesome. Um, I'm going to take a few photos of this guy and then I'm just going to return him right back into his vernal pool and let him do his thing. All right guys here is something that I've actually never seen before. Um, these are what I think are the Jefferson salamander egg masses. Um, like I said I've never seen them before but uh, from the description that I've read before uh, these look spot on for what I imagine that they look like. That's really cool. Um, I actually have a Jefferson's in my dip net right now, uh, an adult male. So I'm gonna walk back to the shoreline and I'll show you guys that in a second. All right guys, before I show you that Jefferson, um, kind of somewhat unique looking wood frog. I don't really ever see um, a wood frog with yellow at the thigh. Which is kind of odd. Um, usually I see some a little bit duller yellow than this maybe. Uh, most of the time it's not nearly this yellow but that's kind of interesting. But I'm gonna let him go into his pond here in a second and uh, I'll show you that Jefferson's. Alright guys so here is the second Jefferson salamander that we found this guy. This guy is definitely a lot smaller than the last one that I just showed you. But that is really cool. Um, I think I'm gonna quit here. I don't like harassing uh, vernal pools all that much. So I'm pretty satisfied with seeing two of these guys. Uh, so I'm just gonna back out of here uh, and start working my way home. But definitely awesome to see these guys. So I'm gonna take a quick picture of this guy and then release him back into his pool. All right guys, so it is actually the next night. Um, we didn't see anything after the uh, last herp that I showed you last night, um, but I'm out here again, uh, a little less than ideal weather. Um, it was raining pretty good earlier, but the temperature is really dropping. Uh, it's already in the 40 degrees and it's supposed to actually turn into uh, snow flurries later tonight. Uh, but I was able to catch 
a few of these guys. This is a Eastern Newt adult uh, in their fully developed aquatic stage. Um, there's actually a lot in the vernal pool that I'm looking uh, through right now, but I'm gonna grab a quick photo of this dude. Um, and I'm gonna keep searching tonight, but I have a feeling that we're not gonna have too much luck.